Hello everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to continue where we left. If you haven't watched the first tutorial, I will put the link in the description so you can follow along. Today, we are going to unwrap these objects. First thing, let's turn off subdivision surface and turn off shading mode. I'm going to press N and Q. Let's switch to UV edit. I'm going to start from the light. I'm going to solo it and enable solo automatic option so whatever i select in the object manager it's gonna be automatically in solo mode so when we start to UV unwrap first thing first we are gonna select the seams it seems i am talking about the sharp edges for example this one this one and this one Let's switch to edge mode most of the time, I will be selecting my edges with flip selection. Shortcut is U and L. First one here. Then press Shift, select these. Then this and this. I'm gonna leave these edges alone because they are not that sharp enough. Now, all I need to do click UV unwrap. That's all. Now I will enable my UV map. First thing, let's click on that polygon to see polygon islands. I'm gonna then double click on that island, press R and rotate it. Something like that should be enough. You can put that aside. Same thing here, double click, press R and rotate. Let's check these. These are looking nice. This one is also looking nice. And the last one. Okay, everything is looking nice. I will select them all. Control A. I will go to UV picking and select geometric one and enable these options. Equalize island size, which means that when I press apply, it's gonna pick these UVs based on the real sizes then I will enable reserve orientation because you know we have just rotated them then let's say apply and check them one more time everything is looking good every number every letter is readable and the boxes are perfectly square now we can switch to the next one blade one same thing I will turn off UV map, edge mode, loop selection, UNL, select the sharp edges and don't forget to press shift. Now all I need to do press UV unwrap. Enable the UV map. I'm gonna double click on these, rotate them. Nice, this one. Uh, let's use mirror V and mirror U this time. Uh, let's press U mirror V one more time. Nice. Rotate them slightly. These ones are okay. I'm gonna select them all. Control A. You'll be picking. Apply. Oh, let's flip this mirror V. Okay, now we can select cylinder, turn off UV map, you know what to do, switch to edge mode, loop selection, UNL, select the sharp edges, press shift, I don't need to select these because you see these white lines, that means that these are already uh, border edges or seams, press shift, that should be enough. Now press UV unwrap. They are looking good, except these ones. They need an exit point because these are probably a cylindrical object. Like if you double click on this, you can see it. You will need a seam. So let's select these. These are not gonna be much visible. Then press 3. Oh, sorry. Stay in edge mode, but 
Uh, open up UV Unwrap Options. Turn on Restricted Polygon Selection. And say OK. Because otherwise, if I keep that unselected, it's gonna unwrap all the objects. So make sure that in the polygon mode, you have selected that UV Island. Then you can switch the edge mode. With this option is enabled, you can press OK. Nice job. Same thing here. Double click on it. Then edge mode, select these edges and UV unwrap. Same here. Let's check this. I'm gonna select these edges. UV unwrap. You go mode. Select this. Select. These edges as seems UV unwrap. Now I'm gonna select them all, Control A, and pack them. Let's check this with UV map. All right, looking great. Now the next one, the bottom one. This one is relatively more complex. So let's first select all the polygons and reset the UV. Turn off the UV map. As we did before, I will switch to edge mode, group selection, and select the sharp edges. First one is this one, then of course this one. Then these are gonna be selected. Now we have the art. Actually, I want to keep that as a single UV island, so I'm not gonna add any more loops let's switch to edge mode actually before doing that i will go with polygon mode and select all because in the edge mode the uv unwrap option is enabled for the polygon selection so let's hit that let's start with this one let's see i'm gonna open up uv map sometimes the uvs are so small that you can't see the boxes, so I'm going to select these, press T, and scale them. For me, it is looking great. Even though we have this curve rounding shape, we got a really good result. This can go over here. Let's now check this one. Okay, this is the inside one. I'm going to scale it as well. Maybe we can rotate it. Okay, looking good. Every letter and number is readable and the squares are perfect. This can go over here and this one. First thing, let's realign that. I will switch to edge mode, select a straight edge and say align UV islands. I will scale this as well. So it is not that bad, but of course you will get some distortion over here. If you go to empty canvas and change your shading to distortion, and let's make it 100 percent you can see the distortion. These are nearly perfect, but this one, especially on these polygons, we have some distortion and it's uh, well expected considering the shape of the object. So let's select them all. Oh, sorry. First thing I should add seams to these polygons. Edge mode. By the way, you can do the selection in the UV editor, select this, press shift, select this as well. Polygon mode, make sure that these are selected. Edge mode, hit OK. And rectangularize this. Click here. Then this one, double click on this. Edge mode, double click. Oh no, actually, I should select these by hand, then UV unwrap. UV. Rectangularize, select them all, picking and apply. I will turn off distortion to, let's say, lines one more time. But I'm gonna go back to this one. Let's select the top one. Select all. 
Actually, let's select them all first and reset the UVs. Edge mode, select all. UNL, loop selection. Uh, you can start with this one. I'm not gonna split these, like selecting these edge loops as well. I think this is gonna be enough, just that single loop. Then, of course, these, then inside, select the first edge, press Ctrl and Shift, select the last one, press Shift, select edge, then press Ctrl and Shift, select the last one, sorry, this one, then UNL one more time, I need to select these, press Shift, add that loop selection to your selection, now I believe we are good to go. Yes, you will unwrap. First thing, let's check this island. Double click on that. This is the top one. First thing, I will select the edge and align the UV island. Enable UV map. I will scale it. As far as I see, this is looking perfect. No distortion at all. Maybe over here. But this is well expected. Let's put that aside, then let's see what is that. I'm gonna scale it. This one is looking perfect, no distortion at all. Move that aside. Then this one. This is a very long one, of course, we will need a seam to break this. I am thinking about this, double click on this. Never mind the other edges because when I hit UV unwrap, it's going to be only unwrap the selected polygons. So just click on that. Polygon mode, double click. This should give us two separate islands. I will bring back the UV map. We can scale it. Okay, looking good. Maybe we can mirror you and v and some slight rotation put that aside this one scale that rotate it slightly okay then let's see what is that double click on that then press s in the 3d viewport okay these are the inside ones i believe these are gonna be perfect these are very angular so no problem I will select them all in polygon mode, UV picking, apply. Awesome, let's turn off solar mode, select them all. I believe something happened on these objects. I will select it, go to coordinates. No, this one, yes. As you can see, there are some offsets. I will set the rotations to zero. All right, I believe this is going to be enough for the basics. You are absolutely good with this setup, but let's do it more challenging and let's try to dive deeper. First thing, I will turn off UV map, select empty canvas, go to shading and change it to distortion. Set it to 100% and let's select the blade. You can see that they are all white, which means that there is no problem over here, no distortion at all. Same goes for the blade one. Then we have the cylinder, which is looking great. Then we have this bottom one, which is not very really good. You can see that these saturated parts, which means that we have distortion. So we need a, some kind of relaxation over here. Let's switch to polygon mode. Double click on that UV island. Then I will switch to edge mode and select these edges. Switch to uh, select UV unwrap. Make sure that the rest selection, the polygon selection is on. But I will turn off auto realign and say OK. I believe I forgot to add that selection. Select that one. Do it one more time. As you can see, the red parts are nearly gone, but not 
completely. So I will select these. I will press UV on red. Same here. This is going to load the stress. And we have some over here. Double click on these edges. UV on red. One more time. I believe this is the best we can get from a single UV island. I am talking about the distortions. If you want zero distortion, you can push the edge mode, double click on the center edges, make a full selection with U and F, press E and move these aside, select these, go to relax and on the relax these select parts, same here, double click, apply. So with this, you can see that these are almost perfect, no distortion at all, but we are going to get a seam right in the center. Let me show you. Let's turn on UV map. Actually, first, UV map turn off distortion. And you can clearly see that we got a seam right in the middle. So, this is the downside of getting no distortion at all. But if you ask me, if I go back to the single UV island and with these distortions, you will not even see the difference, like if I enable UV map and turn off the distortion. I mean, it's nearly impossible to see the distortion. If I press subdivision surface, it's not much detectable. So I'm gonna keep this part as it is. So now let's check the top object. Again, we have some distortion, but uh, they are not gonna be much visible like if I change it to UV map no distortion you can not see much difference maybe it's slight over here but I believe this is totally fine for me at least but if you want something perfect you can select the center edges one more time make a Fill selection, put these aside and relax these. Same here, relax. And you can see that they are in a perfect white, no distortion at all. This is doing perfect, but in exchange of getting perfectly non distorted UVs, you will get these center seams. So it is up to you if you want them a single UV island or seams. But usually I will keep them just like that. All right, let's switch to standard mode. And for the final check, I will create another material called color and select checkerboard from the surfaces. I will select all the objects, right click, apply. I will bring back the shading mode in a queue. I will press Alt and merge that material with the other ones. I think we are looking really good, except these parts. As I said, there, are, there is some slight distortion here and I believe here. But uh, I showed you the way of to get rid of these, but in exchange you will get center seams, so it's up to you. I believe this is going to be enough for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I am thinking about showing you the pipeline between Cinema 4D and Substance Painter of the export these objects, uh, UVs, and of the bake them. So, I'll see you in the next tutorial.